Let's talk Cramathon. Hey guys, it's Danny and long time no see, I know. I will be making a separate video about where I was, why I haven't been posting, and all of that jazz, but today this video is a bit different, different angle as well. Uh, if you haven't seen on Twitter, I have a new filming setup, and I filmed a video in this location once and didn't post it, and it was an October book haul wrap up, and it just didn't happen. That will all be explained in a separate video that I'm gonna probably film tomorrow. This video, however, is an announcement video because Cramathon is happening, and I just so happen to be co hosting this year's Cramathon. For those of you that don't know, Cramathon is a readathon that Whitney from Witty Novels started last year in about this time, and they did another session in winter, and we're doing it again. And I offered to help co host this, this Cramathon. Yes. Basically, during the Cramathon readathon, you're reading as many books as you can read in the set amount of days. So this session of Cramathon goes from December 19th, so at midnight on December 19th, to December 22nd. And along with hosting reading sprints and checking out TBR piles and things like that on the Cramathon Twitter, that will be linked down below and Whitney's channel will also be linked down below. We have also come up with a list of challenges. There was a list of challenges that they used for the past couple of times and Whitney and I created some new ones. And while these aren't mandatory, they're just a fun way to keep you motivated and reading and maybe it might be easier to set a TBR list with these challenges in mind. So the first challenge we came up with was read an audiobook or an ebook. Most recently I have been reading audiobooks. I, I didn't know that I would like them. I didn't think I would. And then I read My Sister Lives on the Mantelpiece by Annabelle Pitcher, and it was narrated by David Tennant, so it was glorious. Uh, the most recent one I read was Naomi, Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List by David Levithan and somebody else. I can't remember their name. While I didn't like that one as much, I have a newfound appreciation for audiobooks because I, I fly through them. They, they go through so fast and I read so many more books that way. And I find with ebooks, Whitney even said this in her video, I forget about them. I tend to forget how many books on my Kindle I have that I haven't read yet. So this challenge is going to be good for me because I have to get through a lot of ebooks on that Kindle of mine. Too many free deals, so many books, so little time. I am also going to pop in right here the link to Whitney's video because she has an awesome offer where you can get two free months of Scribd, which is a basically online library of a bunch of audiobooks and ebooks and while I don't use it, Whitney does and she faithfully uses it and loves it and she actually talks more about it in her video so check it out right here if you want to know more about script. Challenge number two is to read a bind up. So while this is probably a pretty terrible recommendation to do because the books are fairly long, a bind up is something like Lux where there is like one to two books in um, a bind up edition book. Basically if you can get through any sort of bind up, whether it is a very short one or maybe it's two books in the same series or just a set of books in a series or like a bind up of short stories by somebody, that totally counts towards this goal. I know I have one by Lurleen McDaniel that I hopefully plan to read during the Cramathon, which leads me to the next thing that I want to say is that I will be posting a TBR by the end of this week. And again, I will explain why I haven't been posting any videos in a separate video, which will be linked down below once I film it and upload it. Challenge number three is to finish a series or read the last book in a series. So if you are completely through the Lunar Chronicles series, but you haven't read Winter, now is your chance to read it. That is probably what I'm going to do because I, I, I still don't obtain, I haven't obtained a copy of Winter yet, but I will, I will. It's gonna happen before Christmas. I need this in my life. And that is probably going to be the book that I'm gonna try and get through. Don't know how it's gonna happen. I might have to read it a little bit before Cramathon happens and then just cram the rest of it into Cramathon, but we'll see how that works out. Even if you're reading like an entire series through, finishing that last book will count towards this goal of finishing a series 
or reading the last book in a series to finish it off. Challenge number four is pretty self-explanatory. It's read a book under 200 pages. So anything under 200 pages works. I have plenty of those. Like novellas, they're, they're your key books for this because novellas can be like really, really short. Challenge number five is the one that I'm probably the most dreading and that is finishing a book that you DNF'd. So a book that you didn't finish, that you put down and just never got around to finishing because you either didn't like it or you just never finished it because you hit a reading slump. Whatever the case for not finishing it, now is your chance to finish it. Challenge number six is probably the one that most people are going to find a little bit difficult and that is to read a graphic novel series as many graphic novels as you can read. Now that totally leaves you open to whatever number you want to read but if there's a series like Saga, like right here, right here behind me, there are five volumes of Saga out currently so if I hadn't read Saga I could read those five volumes and that would count. You could also just read as many graphic novels as you want because they're like the perfect way to get through as many books as you can. But yes, if there's a if there's a short graphic novel series out there or read an entire graphic novel, which are usually like pretty chunky but so quick to go through, then that is the perfect perfect way to get through a ton of books. Send me some suggestions down below on what graphic novel series I should read for this. And number 7 is read 5 books in total. So you could read plenty of books. You could read more than seven. You could read less than seven. But if you read seven books, then you're, you're, you, you win the challenge of reading seven books. And I think if you do like the shorter books, the graphic novels, the shorter books are going to come in really handy. And graphic novels are just like an add-on to that. So if you, if you read a bunch of those, you'll be set. Remember, this isn't a competition to see how many books you read compared to somebody else. It's just getting through your TBR or getting up towards your book goal thing on Goodreads or however many books you plan on reading this year. That's what you're striving towards. So yeah, that's kind of it for this video. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am going to be co-hosting this readathon with Whitney. I will be posting on the Cramathon Twitter with reading sprints and talking about people's TBRs and asking what you guys are reading and Whitney's going to be doing that as well so we'll both be very very active on that and hopefully we can get through a lot of books and hopefully we can get a lot of us to our Goodreads goals and things. Because if you're really behind, this is like the perfect readathon to do. And it's only like a three day readathon 19, 20, 21, 22, four days. It's a four day readathon. You can get a lot of books done in that time. It's like NaNoWriMo. Forget everything, just read instead of just write. I will be posting my Cramathon TBR, like I said, sometime this week. And I will also be posting a November book haul, a November wrap up, even though it's probably going to be very short and brief. Um, and the other video that I talked about where I'm basically going to do another stitch and bitch or something of the sort to update you guys on why I haven't been posting in a month. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you participate in Cramathon, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Thank you for watching my video. Hope that you really enjoyed the show. Hit the subscribe button down below and go and read some books.